guys, how you doing? Um, I'm all right. Uh, it's been raining most of the day, so I just, I got my jammy. I took a shower. I got my jammies on. So I'm just, it stopped raining right now, but it's supposed to be raining in a little bit. So I thought, ah, let me sit here and sew on my uh, little circle quilt thing. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I am almost ready to, um, yeah, I didn't crochet any circles, so I gotta do that. And then I'm gonna put them on this blanket. And then I'm just gonna uh, sew some, like, uh, patches on it or some ribbon things, you know, just a little, little funky things to make it cute. And, uh, Okay, I thought I heard my name. <laughs> Which is totally possible here, you know. Um, anyway, today um, was a down day. Uh, and I don't mean boohoo down. Uh, it was a down where I didn't have anything special going on. So I went and did laundry. Oh, joy, oh, rapture. Nothing makes my day more happy than going to do the laundry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, not. <laughs> I did that, and I cleaned up a little bit, and then um, I thought, you know, I've been, I thought about emptying the van, okay, except for what I just absolutely have to have. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that because why? Why should I empty the van, put it in Dave's garage, and then when I find a, another van, I have to go and get it out of the garage? I just might as well keep it in the van, like it is now, and then just transfer it when I buy the new one. I think that makes more sense to me. I don't know. Does it sound reasonable to you guys? I just, I just don't want to go through all that headache by moving everything. You know, I just, I'm not into it right now. Yeah, I'm sewing. <laughs> I'm sewing. Look, Mom, I'm putting the needle in the material and pulling it out. Pulling the thread out. Woo! <laughs> this thing has taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. Ooh, yeah. I can tell I haven't sewn a lot by hand lately in a couple of years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I am uh, TJ's brother. Uh, uh, they had a machine and he, he got it fixed and he gave it to me for Christmas. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be, uh, using that thing. Yeah. Soon. I got to go tomorrow. After Dave and I, uh, go van hunting tomorrow, uh, I'm going to stop at the, at the Roscoe's treasure and, and we're going to get me a new, uh, place to work at there and uh, see how that goes and what I'll be doing is taking my uh, sewing machine and my, my material over there and I've already got my uh, a lot most of my um, uh, yarn over there so I'll be working on stuff over there yeah 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 and, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I haven't watched the video on how to make those jellies yet. I think I might, if I don't forget it, I might do that tonight, uh, after dark, uh, when I can't see too good, uh, to do this kind of thing. Dark, light, dark. Like, yeah. Uh, 
So I might do that because then tomorrow I'll talk to Patty and see if she wants to wants to make the jelly and then we'll we'll film that. Yeah, as you can tell, I got nothing. I got nothing going on. I could have had the eclipse. I heard it got really dark. I, I heard that in Indianapolis it got like uh, nighttime dark uh, when the eclipse happened. So apparently no earth shattering events happened during the <laughs> eclipse. I've heard a lot of things going on about the eclipse, okay? I've heard that, um, what was it, CERN was going to be running and they were going to open up a, a portal when the eclipse was happening and, and they were expecting some really uh, uh, mean, nasty creatures coming out of the portal. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, and then yeah, this is the the comment that oh, the world's coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fell for that one once. Oh my god, I was so naive when I was younger. Let's see, it was nineteen eighty one, eighty two. I worked at a bank as a forms design analyst, and it was a good job. I I loved it, you know. I loved it, and uh, so I, I hear on the radio, "Oh, okay, the world's going to come to an end in uh, April," and I've been hearing this and. <sighs> God, I was such a goofy person yeah I took it all to heart I took everything that the news was saying and, and these people I don't know because the YouTube wasn't, wasn't around yet so I'm not sure where I was hearing this from but you know they said oh on April so and so the world's coming to an end and I panicked so much that oh man I panicked so much that I quit my job. I quit my job. I pulled the kids out of school. I wouldn't let them go anywhere because I was afraid <laughs> that they would be gone and we would be apart when the end of the world came. <laughs> Boy, did I feel stupid the next day. <laughs> And then, you know, uh, now now when I hear someone say, oh, it's going to be the end of the world, this date, and I'm thinking, oh, bite me. Yeah, I'm not falling for that crap again. Yeah. And anyway, yeah, because no one knows when it's going to happen. No one knows the day or the time, okay? And, uh, so, let's see. Yeah, that was, God, I've done some weird things in my life. Quitting my job. That was good money, too. Back then, it was real good money. Yeah, I designed all the forms for, for the, uh, First Federal of Broward County. I, I designed all their forms and did all kind of things for that. I loved it. I loved the printing industry, and I loved to make forms, and I just had such a great time there. Um, yeah, well, okay. Um, I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything else to say, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to work on my quilt. And hopefully by tomorrow, let's see, I've got this little, little bit to do, and I'll be pretty much done with all the circles on the blanket. Oh, I'm sorry, Sammy. Did I disturb you? 
He's like a cat. He wants to be on or under everything that I'm working on. So he has situated himself underneath the blanket that I'm trying to quilt. So, But that's okay. That's okay. He's my buddy. Where the hell did I put the pen? Okay. Oh, speaking of which, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Remember I showed you this book that was made for me? Which is beautiful, by the way. I am so sorry that I totally missed this little nifty thing right here. It has my name on it. <laughs> I am so excited. I Yeah, when I saw that, I thought, that's my name. That's my name. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the kind of stuff I'm going to put uh, throughout the, the uh, places on the quilt that doesn't have... Um, uh, material or um, crochet, like this little spot here. I'm going to put stuff like the heart and um, this kind of stuff on it. Oh, it should make it pretty cool. But thank you so much. The, this means the world to me. Yeah, it does. It's so pretty. That must have took a long time to do. Yeah, I love your long uh, stitches and your slow stitching there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, oh, yeah, I didn't go by the post office either. I'm sorry. I got to remember to do that tomorrow. And so I can show you all the things that, that I've gotten in the mail. I showed the letters and the cards, but I haven't shown the other things. I'm so sorry I got sidetracked. So, but I will get that. I will get that done tomorrow. Okay, I promise. I promise. Uh, yeah, I promise. I promise. So anyway, you guys take it easy and take the long way home. Woo -hoo. Oh.